Hello my friends, how are you doing? It's already time for the free December content pack and this one I'm really really excited about. It's the mythical gradient pack. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Thank you for that and let's get started. So what is the mythical gradient pack? Well, this one is built on my own experience, my workflow, my artistic output. As you know, I create a lot of these pictures. I've created dozens of them for my Instagram account and I work very much with gradients, how they change the picture, bring your own artistic language and vibe into them. So that is really cool. You can do so amazing things and they glue the picture together and give it your own language. Language. So that's very, very nice to have. And as an artist, you know, finding the right colors and using the right colors is like using spices for cooking. Only with the best colors, you can create really amazing artistic works. And that takes a lot of experience and work to really get that down, how to combine colors with each other. So what I did for this pack is I decided to sample the colors that masters use in their art, especially concept artists, so digital painters. The reason why I choose to sample from them is because as a digital painter, you have to choose your own colors. You have to know amazingly much about how colors are combined, how to use them as a language, as an expression, and how these colors talk to each other. So this is all part of this pack and this is why I'm so excited about it because I use these gradients a lot as I said in my work so I wanted to have a quick and easy access to really powerful combinations that are really really high in quality. So if you look at the different swatches that I've created the biggest version the pro version has 90 different color gradients they go from this kind of warmer wipe that often goes from a pink or violet tone to a darker violet or blue tone um, like you can see here and i also included some orange tones and brighter warmer tones for example for light sources for light shines all these kind of things and i also included some in the upper part so the upper half of them are more these kind of darker dystopian colors that are more muted in their emotional expression so um, they're a bit darker like you can see here uh, with the bear picture this kind of uh, feeling that is more a little bit horror inspired so that is also very nice so you have different directions you can go into okay and Another thing I want to point out here is that the packs include an online course I created specifically for this pack. So I show you how to install the gradients and how to use them. In the course, I'm talking about the use of linear, of directional and of radial gradients. I talk about how to create a light disc with shapes uh, to create a really cool atmosphere in your picture, how to use different blend modes to set up this mood in the picture, also how to create a gradient map out of a gradient. It's not as easy in Affinity Photo, but there's a workaround. I will show you how to do that. And I also will show you how to do this really cool effect where you can use a gradient to blend over multiple shapes in Affinity Photo, like these kind of laser beams here to create this really cool effect. So there's so much cool stuff in there and I'm excited to use it myself because like I said, I create a lot of these pictures. I often use and need gradients and I just wanted to have the best gradients to create these pictures and have an easy workflow because what you want to to have as an artist is that you can stay in your artistic flow, just create without having to worry about anything and just bam, 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 put out your artistic inspiration onto the canvas and create your artwork. And this is a tool that helps you to do that. So let's have a quick look on how to use that. Like I said, a course with a longer explanations about half an hour long will explain you how to use this in detail. So here I'm going a little bit quicker than I would in the course. So we have this picture here. It's already very nice. It's a really cool picture, but let's give it our own artistic spin. This is what this is all about. So I'm going to create a rectangle here over all of my canvas 
and I will set this to soft light. You can see this already changes the look. And oh, by the way, one thing I want to point out here is I included 90 gradients in the biggest version and they are linear, but I also created a version that is radial. And the reason for that is I will show you real quick. Um, let's set this back to normal. One second. So in Affinity Photo, the thing is, you can see this one, for example, is radial. So you can switch through all of these gradients and this will stay radial. But as soon as I click on one that is linear, this will turn into a line. And this is problematic. And so this is why I created two different versions. One of them is linear. The other one is radial. That is the reason why. Okay, cool. So you have the convenience, you can work quicker. This was also very uh, important for me to create a very intuitive, quick and fluent workflow to work with really amazing colors. Okay, so let's set this up here like that. Go again to soft light as my blend mode and we can click around here to see what kind of mood do we wanna have in our picture. Kind of like these down here. Let's see, um, let's go with the brighter one maybe. Yeah, like that is good. And you can of course um, readjust the direction. So I can put this in the other direction. So the pink light comes from the front. We have the blue light in the background. So that's very nice. So this is already very nice. I want to add something more because I think there's a little bit missing on the left side here. Where does the light come from? So let's create a light source real quick. This is the light disc trick that I really like. I use it very often in my works, uh, not just for light sources, also for glowing eyes, all these kind of cool things. Uh, so let's just create an ellipse here. And this time we need a radial um, gradient. So click here on all these mythical gradients radial. We will select, uh, let's say this one here. Change the, we actually don't need to change the direction here. Let's go like this. By the way, sometimes uh, a radial gradient shows up as an ellipse from these tools. I don't know why, but it's still a radiant, uh, a radial gradient. So, um, okay. So the next thing you're doing is you're going and to the blend modes and set it to screen. And then you're going to effects, Gaussian blur. Let's set it to hundred again. Okay, cool. So let's zoom out a little bit and, um, adjust the ellipse to the shape we want to have. So we have this very nice warm light coming from the left side with the gradient on it. So it blends into a darker pink. And so this is the new image. You can see we have put an own spin on the image with just two gradients applied to the image and some blend mode. So super easy. This is the original and this is our changed version. So you can see in seconds, you can just brainstorm really amazing ideas with really great colors. So yeah, this is a really great way to have a good fluent workflow, stay in your artistic drive and really have a nice, great output that always ends in something that is of high quality. I hope you like the pack and I hope you enjoy the course. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye.